So at the end of the last video, I showed you that hybrid actually opens up two synths essentially at once, uh, A and B, which you can have collective control of using the morph controls here, or independent controls from these two different tabs. Common shows me where I can control both of them together. Uh, we'll start here with the unison controls. Uh, I can add unison to one of my parts. This actually doubles up the entire voice uh, or up to uh, eight multiple voices. And then we can detune the voices with respect to each other using this control. Uh, if we listen to this first of all without any unison on part A, I'll add unison to it. And I can do the same with part B. A bit too much with that one. And if you have too many voices with much detune, you get uh, quite nasty tuning effects. Here we can have the pitch bend range for both voices together or parts together. And we can even perform a key split, which will allow me to have uh, part A and part B on different sections of my MIDI keyboard. Uh, Morph Assign is where I can make MIDI controller messages actually control different parameters from here. Uh, you can see here I have the conventional five uh, MIDI control messages, or control change messages given their official term. We'll be looking at MIDI assignment of controllers in a different video. Here we can choose the pitch of the two different voices. So I could, for example, put voice A up an octave. Let's hear it. Default and then put that back and I could even detune A and B with respect to each other as well. Uh, we can also modulate the pitch of the entire voice from here as well so this would affect all three of these oscillators. Uh, next we have portamento mode so we can decide whether we have legato on and off and this works the same as we saw with vacuum. Uh, with on it'll slide from one note to the other uh, regardless of whether they overlap or not. So, uh, But if I overlap notes we get a slight portamento. In legato this will not slide from one to the next. But if I overlap the notes it does. Then we have our envelope trigger mode, legato or restart. And this determines whether if I have overlap, if I have overlapping notes, does the envelope re-trigger or not? At the moment it won't, so. But if I go for restart, it triggers the attack every time, even though I kept one note held that whole time. We can limit the number of voices, uh, 16, but you could of course make it monophonic if you wanted the full uh, options. And we have the same controls for voice B here. Here we have the tuning for the entire plugin. And we can decide if it receives MIDI control change messages or channel pressure messages, after touch messages from here. Uh, this knob mode determines how these pots and controllers work, and you can see they can be circular absolute and circular relative. It's reasonably useful depending on your type of MIDI controller keyboard you might be using. And tool tips, well, when I turn this on, hovering the mouse over just tells you exactly what the control is called. We have several uh, effects pages. Uh, I can add insert effects to A and B. So let's say I would like uh, part A to have, uh, what have we got, a flanger inserted on it. So let's hear this. And I could have different inserts on part B. So let's go for uh, a wah pedal, a uh, talk box, that's always fun. I can control whether they have the inserts activated uh, from these pages here. So you can see A has got insert 1 activated. 
If I deactivate it here and go back to my effects page, you can see it's also been deactivated in this window. We then have uh, three uh, master effects, a chorus, a delay, and a reverb. And these are, in essence, auxiliary based. So if we have a look back at our amplifier section here, we have our auxiliary sends to each of these. So I could add a touch of reverb to uh, part B, add a touch of delay to part A, and now in the effects page, I could control the reverb settings and the delay settings. Finally, we have the presets page. Now, uh, this essentially gives me the ability to load up one of my presets into A and a different one into B. Uh, and it works as you'd expect. You just need to double click on one to get to it. Uh, down here we have uh, some offsets, adjustments for filters, amplifiers, and so on. And we can copy parts A to B and vice versa if we want to. So we could have exactly the same sound on here as we have here with the offsets that applied here or not. Uh, these controls are essentially mirrors of what we've seen in here and here. In the next video, we'll take a look at these sequence tabs.